This is how we evaluate physiological response to a PIP change in a patient undergoing volume control ventilation. First, we need to display plateau pressure, and we have no plateau pressure here because we are now using autoflow. So we need to go on additional setting, autoflow, and set it to off. At this point, we have a peak, but plateau pressure is not very clear. And so what we do is slightly prolong the inspiratory time. By doing this, plateau pressure is now evident and we still have no gas trapping. What we do afterwards is continuously displaying plateau pressure. We achieve this just by pushing this P button and switch to plateau pressure. and the ventilator will uh, display it continuously. 21 is plateau pressure right now. We now increase PEEP by, let's say, 4 centimeters water. And we see that even if we increase PEEP, plateau pressure is still 21. So we can increase more our PEEP, let's say, to 12 centimeters of water and plateau pressure increases only by two centimeters of water and dynamic compliance has also increased this likely indicates some alveolar recruitment if we increase peep further let's say to 16 centimeters of water plateau pressure increases by the same amount, like four centimeters of water. And this indicates that we are in a linear portion of the pressure volume curve. But if we increase the PIP further by only two centimeters of water, for instance, plateau pressure increases by six centimeters of water. And this likely indicates over distension which can also be seen from the decrease of dynamic compliance and from this typical shape with an upward concavity in the pressure time curve.